on guys uh it's your boy pickle ninja i'm coming at you with a review of melody sauce um <clears throat> there's hardly any reviews out there about that vst and machine uh so i'm gonna go ahead and, and knock it out real quick for anybody that's interested i know i was looking for it but uh it will work with machine software and it's very simple um you just kind of have to ignore the fact that you cannot hear anything coming out of melody sauce so you do not need a third party and i will show you here let's take a drink here because i'm kind of parched um so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it i'm gonna put together a little little something here let's see let's keep it at 120 um Let's add this audio source. Um, let's add that in there. All right, so let's make this the right pattern length. And let's shorten that out so we can see it all. Okay, so that'll play at the right BPMs. Okay, let's get us a let's get us a beat. Uh, hmm. Is that? All right. One of these will suffice. Make it simple, and we'll we'll go with the first one there. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we got our little little whatever. Okay. Now we're gonna make a new group, and we are gonna bring in Melody Sauce. So let's bring in Melody Sauce. I just wanted to do that so you guys can see uh, that it's going to pick up on that beat. Okay. So we got Melody Sauce here. Let's open it up. So when you play this, okay, you are not going to, you're not going to hear anything in Melody Sauce. So, um, you will, um, you will though get the Melody Bank that you need. So let's do, um, I don't know, let's do a swing first. Let's do a simple, simple light. Okay, then we got that one. Then let's do a triplet. Let's do a dark triplet. And we'll keep that simple. And we'll do a, let's do a complex with both. Okay. All right, so, so now we got three melodies here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take, as you as you heard, you can't hear it, okay? So, we're, But we're going to take, it's st see, the, here's the thing. Melody Sauce still works. It still does what it needs to do. You just can't hear it, all right? Um, you will be able to hear it once you see what I'm about to do. So when we take this, we're going to take the melodies and slide them over, okay? So you got your first melody, okay? As you see, you're going to slide that that melody into the pattern okay and then we'll take the second one and we'll go ahead and put it in in bang three okay just for shits and giggles i like to put a space in between them so when i slide them down and over um it already like puts it on mute for whatever reason but it doesn't matter anyway we'll put this one in five okay so you have your three melodies there so we are going to now we don't need melody sauce anymore okay so we've already done it um we've kept everything pretty much simple 
on here. You can mess around with this stuff, um, you know, later on. But we're just going to simply take away melody sauce now. Like it wasn't even there. Okay, so now you have your mel three melodies here you can mess with. And you, as you see, you can come in here and play with that as you need fit. So now we're going to choose a uh, VST to actually play those melodies. Um, uh, let's go with... I'll go with Nexus. Okay. Um, so let's open up Nexus. Uh, I said let's open up Nexus. Okay. Um, and let's go ahead and play this. Um, let's just, heck, let's see what it sounds like there. Okay, so as you see, it actually is playing to the beat. So it made a melody that's actually <coughs> the BPM to your beat. Um, so now it's up to you just to find what you want to make it sound like. I don't like that. Alright, so as you see, um, there you have it. Uh, now you still have, I like the sound of that already, but you still have the other two that you created. So we can actually, here's what I do. Um, I will take this down here. Now that we've already messed with that, I'll just kind of slide this down. And then take this one and kind of move it up. This looks like it's going to be kind of a pad because how it starts out <coughs> doesn't start out. Uh, on the top pattern so let's go ahead and we'll keep the same nexus and let's see what that sounds like Yeah, I kind of like that one too. Okay, so that, actually I kind of like how that sounds as well. So let's take our third one. Okay, we can kind of bring this back right back down to where it was actually. Oh, that gets a little tricky. Make sure it stays where it was. And we'll take this. And we'll bring this one up. 
and see how this one sounds. Okay, that one a little less I like, but um, I'm sure I could play with that eventually and make it, I'd probably chop out some of this and kind of make it a little more simple. I think it's a little too much, but as you see, there's your melody. Well, while I got you guys, I actually wanted to, to give you guys a little tip here. See, here's what I was doing the other day, because notice you have your three, your three okay what you could do too is you can use all three of these and which i like as well that you can copy these right and paste this in here okay and then copy this one and paste that in there okay so now what you do is you go here you go to what's going on What's happening here? Okay, there we go. Not sure why my mouse wasn't working. What's going on with my mouse here? It's not uh, allowing me to click the... Okay, there we go. Okay, so basically what I was saying is... Okay, so this one, pattern one, you can use here. Um, for the D, okay, you can change it up. And you can actually get rid of this one. Okay, you can get rid of that one completely. Uh, let's take Nexus out of there real quick. And what we can do is move this one. Uh, let me shorten that out. And we put this one up her. Okay. And we can take this one off of this pattern. Okay. And then we have this one, which I don't really like too much. But we'll take this one. We'll delete that off of there. And we will take this one. And move this up. We'll take this one. And delete it. Okay. So now you have three different patterns from the same melody sauce. So in other words... So we got that one, got that one, and we got that one. So we need to take these two and delete them. Okay. So keep it clean, keep it clean, everybody. Okay, so let's do this, and we'll play these two. Like I said, that pattern right there is my least favorite. It has some tweaking to do. I probably wouldn't even use that one. Probably use another one. But there you have it, guys. Um, you, I mean, the Melody Sauce VST is just, to me, is amazing. I love it. Um, it, it, it allows you to do so many other things. Um, and I am so happy that I figured that out. I was kind of frustrated when I purchased it. And I was like, oh, man, it doesn't even work mach with machine. And I didn't really read into it too much. But uh, I just kind of on a whim said, hey, let me uh, let me try and see if this works. 
and it did. So hopefully this helped out, guys. Once again, I'm out for real this time. Your boy Pickle Ninja. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.